the monastic star timetable. This poem takes its inspiration from the practice in medieval times of monks observing the position of the stars in relation to their monastery buildings in order to tell the time and regulate their prayer and worship. And it seems that in certain cases, these observations were written down into official timetables. So the poem takes the point of view of a monk on night watch with his star timetable, and the stanzas alternate between the text of the timetable, which is based on a real French example, and the monk's inner thoughts. The Monastic Star Timetable On the holy night of Christmas, when you see the dragon above the dormitory and Orion poised above the chapel roof, prepare yourself to sound the bell. Darkness freezes round me in the cloister. The vellum words and stars inflict their patterns, whispering like the ceaseless prayers we send to God. No one must lie asleep who must protect the world. On the festival of St. Germanus, look for the jewel of the archer's arrow hanging above the middle of the tower. That is when to start the nighttime hymns. The stars are our seasons, the keys of our prison. Winter snowfall, glittery scatterings of spring rain, the globes of poppies in the harvest fields, the dying meteors of copper beech, oak and elder. On the day of the Lord's circumcision, when the bright star on the knee of Artophylax is level with the corner of the dormitory, it is time to bring the taper to the lamps. The thrill of live flame, a writhing spirit, the chapel like a soul skinned with gold. This is the light I seek beyond the constellations. O Lux Eterna, burn off my crusted life. On the feast of our beloved Saint Agnes, when you see the Virgin's spears rising clear above the space between the sixth and seventh windows, make ready for the sacred office. I dread nights of fog, mist, vapours, cloud, the clinging absence, the separation from God. Lord, how long before a star expands inside me, flooding my soul and flesh, with gracious light. On the feast day of St. Clement, Orion will rise above the end of the refectory, but wait until you see the sword and scabbard before you wake the brethren. So many nights I've waited for eternity, listening for music, looking for meaning, but all I've felt is the dark between the stars. My heart beating like a bell, the phrases of mortality. <laughs>